hey guys in this video we are going to learn what is how to use lambda inside a function in python right so in the previous video i have explained how do you write lambda functions and in this one we are going to see how can you use a lambda function inside a normal function okay so how what is that we are going to understand and have complete details myself rakesh and i welcome you back to my channel automate with rakesh please do hit on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to stay up to date now let's get started and understand the concept behind it okay now first thing if i ask you write a lambda function so how do you write it first you take a variable and because lambda entire function is an object right so i have to pass it to a variable so i'll say lambda and then i'm going to say um the uh, let's say the parameters required is a comma b then i will put a colon and i'm going to write the expression so here i want to find the reminder in the previous video we have seen we're trying to find the reminder this way so a modulo b so what is the operator i'm using modulo operator which is nothing but the percentage symbol so this is going to find the reminder so this output is going to find the reminder now how do i call a function which is already created the lambda function you have already created now how do i pass a value or how do i call that lambda function that is pretty simple all i have to do write print you know take the variable name and within the parenthesis i am going to pass two different values let's say 10 uh, comma 2 so what is the reminder the reminder should be zero so when i hit on run what is the output output is zero if i change the number for example 11 comma 2 then the reminder will be one right so this is the simplest way of using a lambda function in python now let's understand how can i use a lambda function inside another function so for that let's do one thing let's create a function named define and i'm going to create a function called find a reminder okay find a reminder and in this one i am going to pass only one argument or one i am defining only one parameter here so i am going to pass only one argument colon so this is this is done and then i want to say return and i will say lambda then i am going to say b colon so it has to do the module of a divide a percentage symbol b so what what i am exactly doing i am writing the same expression okay uh, um, um, i am writing the same expression a right the same expression but again what i am doing first i am passing a uh, argument right through the function name and that means when i am passing a whatever value i'll be passing it is going to occupy this particular space and for the b for the v value i have, I have not passed the v value yet so what i will do i will call something like this for example i'm going to say um, x right equals to i'll take the function name find reminder okay find reminder and here i am going to pass the value let's say 10 i am passing so what this 10 will do the 10 will go to a right that means here if i put a comment here a will become 10 right and here what would the expression would look like the expression would look like lambda right um, b colon a value is already sent through the function so it will become 10 modulo symbol and it will be b right this is how the expression would look like now this expression will be returned where it will be returned to the x the same expression will be returned to x because what is happening here the x is equals to the function name 10 so it will pass the 10 and the entire output which is nothing but this will be passed to the line number 7 that is x okay now what this x will do what i will do because this expression b yet has not received any value right b has not received a value so what i will do i'll simply say x and within the parenthesis i'm going to pass a value let's say 2 so the a value is to 10 which was passed by the function right and the b value i am passing it by by normal calling like you call a, a lambda function right same way i'm passing but i'm passing only one argument here so one argument was passed through the function the other argument was passed through the lambda function getting it so this is called lambda inside a function so i'm using lambda inside a function getting it and this is how i am passing the next value so what would happen the two will go so how the final output would be so it will write it will look something like this right lambda um, b is already we are passing so b will be passed so how the expression would look like 10 modulo symbol and then because i'm passing 2 it will occupy the b space right so it will say 10 modulo 2 
In that case, if I run this, if you see the line number 8, the line number 3 has printed 1 because 11 divided by 2 reminder will be 1 and in the line number from 5 to 8 in the line number 8 what was printed because I am dividing 10 by 2 right I am passing 2 here uh, so th the reminder is 0 right so let's say I want to change it 15 let's say 6 if I run this what is the reminder reminder value is 3 okay quite obvious so you got it right so how a lambda function can be called so just for a practical understanding so this is how you will be calling it and this is how you will be passing the value to a function as you normally do right and uh, to the lambda function because the output of this one the x will contain this one now to pass the value to the another argument you will be doing this way okay so this is how you will be passing different values and this is an example of lambda inside a function this can be again you can make it slightly more complex you can pass multiple uh, elements here multiple parameters here multiple param you know multiple parameters here here so all this can be done once you know the concept okay i hope this one is clear to you please do practice this exercise once so that you will have a complete understanding how this one is working and you can also run it in the debug mode and see how the values are getting assigned one by one so thank you guys for watching this we are going to come up with more such interesting contents on python please do hit on the bell icon and please do subscribe to my channel please do support me while i'm trying to create new contents which can deliver a lot of concepts while you are going through those videos so till then take care bye bye we are going to meet once again in our next video